Upon hearing of human dreams precious as gold, an insatiable evil dragon descended upon the kingdom. Oblivious to this ill, the king and his princess continued to debate the content of their meal. Meat or vegetable, though the princess' most loyal servant would have proposed both to end the squabble. But few knew his name, and fewer still cared for his counsel. And then the evil dragon appeared. And then the evil dragon appeared. And then the evil dragon appeared. Dreams like gold. I wonder if they will be flavorful. Dreams like gold. I wonder if they will be flavorful. Oh, these uneven tiles on the ground knock the wind out of my sails. Ah, good, very good. Though you are puny, you harbor dreams grand enough for myself. Be gone, evil dragon. Evil dragon? How laughable. A dragon as illustrated and thoughtful as myself should surely be granted enlightened as a title. My kin are known to covet treasure, yet I have found the dreams of puny man more enticing than jewels. It is most spectacular how man can stuff their minds with dreams, whether they be starving or full. Human dreams are more precious than gold, or so they say. Today I will see for myself if your dreams are indeed as filling as they are valuable. My hunger wears away at my control. I must feast as soon as possible. Puny king, if you value your own life and those of your kin, then offer up thy sacrifice thereupon. To see me as a coward, are your vile eyes mere reflective stones? Dreams and nobility are my lifelong pursuits. I will not give them up for you. Be gone, evil dragon. The kingdom won't cower before you. I must urge that you reconsider though courage fills your measly soul. Which choice is more favorable between sacrifice and annihilation? Some time will surely show. <sighs> I will find some rest in your city outskirts, but before nightfall, I will return for my fill. If you fail to give, then I will take for myself. Your palace shall be my hunting grounds, and your halls my stove. Reduced to just standing around. How absurd. Hmm. There's quality here. rebuttal the stage is set up let's celebrate this special convinced that the king will in time provide a delicious meal the hubristic dragon departed the castle for a short break the righteous king had no intention to yield and planned to call upon his banners to conquer evil. I will defeat the dragon to protect our kingdom. 
My child, you forget yourself. A princess cannot march. Your place is not in battle, but within the boudoir. I have not forgotten your teachings. I cannot give up dreams and nobility. I should walk freely among our people, as a princess, but also as a warrior. With the dragon outside, I cannot just sit still. You are a princess first. Moreover, I cannot bear to see you step into danger. Furthermore, you... <laughs> Rest assured, Your Majesty. By my side, her safety will be secure. With no name or honor, how do you propose to protect her? Alas, say no more. I will summon the bravest warriors of the land to ride beside her. There were three celebrated warriors in the realm, each endowed with great gifts and known for skill spectacular. All waited patiently outside the palace, eager to step into the throne room. The forger of great legacies, the world famous fighter, Attendant A. His glory is resplendent and his travels the epics of the day. Within the realm, only the most ignorant have not heard of the hero, or given him acclaim. <laughs> you say you didn't know? Here, I'll tell you all about my name. See, this cloak has a very colorful history. Please, listen carefully. A phenomenal plan takes time to formulate. Use your brain, not your fists. You say you didn't know? Here, I'll tell you all about my name. The often indecisive and overcautious tactician, Attendant B. Specialist in surviving any and everything in one piece. Is he paranoid or simply meticulous? No consensus exists. A phenomenal plan takes time to formulate. Use your brain, not your fists. You think I'm afraid? D don't discount my field expertise. And finally, our preeminent dragon slayer, Attendant C. Dragon slaying is a piece of cake, if you must ask me. The Slayer recounted his many legends, showcasing spoils for all to see. See, this cloak has a very colorful history. Please listen carefully. The warriors have arrived. Ah, they are ready to fight. Their names are so long and complicated. Why is that? To project shock and awe, people often exaggerate their deeds. Oh, I, I must be ignorant. I I've never heard of such a trend. Welcome, brave warriors. May you persevere and prevail against the obstacles ahead.
I swear upon all my past glory, a triumph for our princess is at hand. <laughs> the princess need not fear with me by her side. The dragon will fall in no time. Uh, a dragon poses no threat. My plan will make it flee with its tail between its legs. Friends, you make fair points, but you may not even have to fight. My slaying prowess is acclaimed throughout our land. The dragon will tremble and scram. Reduced to just standing around. So, accompanied by her loyal servant, as well as the three famed warriors, the princess set out on her quest. There's quality. Hi, Mom. Traveler. Terror. Anyway, please, you can watch the middle three act, and when the final act begins, please hold stay. He said there are four more acts after this. If we see a stage on the island, shall we go check it out? Disappear! 